So something we're gonna work on today, I'm totally stoked. I got supplies yesterday and it's time to get these babies off the ground. I've been paranoid leaving them here. Uh, in the winter time, if it snows, they get crushed like that one. Um, and so I'm trying to avoid that this winter. It's uh, only September, but I'm gonna get these up and out of here. I kinda don't like to have them so visual or present uh, in the little tiny house environment. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clear out all that up there. I'm gonna put them up, up there so they're kinda by themselves out of the way. You have full access to the water tank. So first thing we're gonna do, clear everything out. And then um, we're gonna set up the framework for it. All right guys, that does it for clearing out. We're ready to set up the solar structure for the panels. And we'll probably be doing that tomorrow because I'm looking over there. And that's a lot of rain. You can see the rain there, there, there. There's some behind the hill over there. Not so much right there. Maybe it'll just mess us. We'll go on that side and go on that side. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll get the solar structure set up. All right, guys, it's good to be back working on the solar panel structure. We're gonna drill a hole here. We're gonna do, drill a hole here. And if you can see by this, we have another pole that's gonna be going down into the hole as a support. And then the other one's gonna be over here. You gotta be careful not to go too far because we're gonna be building another tiny house right here. So I think we're gonna be good. We'll leave enough road to get through. So anyway, another hole here. All right, guys, sun is going down. See it way out there. Means we got about 10 minutes left. Um, all three holes are dug. All the bars are connected. And um, what I'm gonna do just for tonight, it's kinda, anytime I adjust that corner, that corner moves anytime everything moves. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stabilize, we're gonna concrete in this middle bar tonight, get nice, straight up and down, get a level. I'm gonna pour the cement in, let it cure overnight. And by tomorrow morning, we should be good to adjust those. This is what you do when you don't have more than one person, so. And then on that one there, so tomorrow when this is stiff and cemented in, we should be able to adjust these guys and get them level. They're pretty level right now. So cement this guy in, get these two guys in tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll work on the second row, which is gonna be right about here. <laughs> All right guys next day and we are cruising we got this one uh last night we poured that the little concrete hole it's pretty much it's almost cured it's gonna be a little while probably another day before it gets fully cured but we're straight we got we got pretty much plumb on this so we're gonna start pouring some water into here and then we're looking at we're level here, so we're looking good. This doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, it's good practice when you're doing construction. Get all your get all your stuff straight. 
So we've got the third hole dug and we have the cement concrete. <laughs> What's the difference between cement and concrete? Can somebody tell me in the description? <laughs> um, anyway, the concrete, the cement is curing. We're gonna add some more water to this. Uh, as you can see, we're straight up and down plumb. And if you look down here, we got a pretty straight line going all the way across. This is 20 feet long, one inch pipe. And on this section here, I, it's leaning a little bit more towards this way, a little bit down, kind of slants down just a hair. And the reason I did that was because um, I want it to catch that morning sun that comes up through there. So get some good rays. Um, this is pretty, pretty much level level. So we'll get all the daytime rays coming at it. They're gonna be tilted down a little bit. So to try and get some more direct ray onto it. So at sunset, we can still be collecting a little more light. I'm tempted to put a couple more solar panels over here that are face that way. So we're still collecting a little more sunlight at the end of the day. All right, guys, last one poured. And the sun is going down fast. So we got the last one poured, balanced, as parallel as can be. As some people say, a hair out of square, but it, it it's, uh, this isn't, to be functional, it doesn't have to be perfectly level, but we are level within probably an inch or so um, of it. So it's not, not anything to worry about. Right now we gotta do these preparations before winter comes. I'll point you this way, look how nice that is. Um, but we gotta do all these preps and these tests, research and development uh, before, before it snows, because when it snows, Things, you can do things, but they're a lot harder. They take longer and you might suffer a little bit. So um, I th I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive about this. Um, I, I might have to do some reinforcements. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll get busy on it. We're gonna start stacking up solar panels and then uh, we'll see, we, and we'll see how it looks from there. What up my people? We are cruising here. Um, the setup I'm going with here, um, I originally put this broken one here just to stabilize it while I start the install. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna install two and two like that. And then I'm gonna go one and one and one and one over there. Um, and I gotta pick up another 10 foot galvanized. I'm gonna run another bar right here to support these guys. We'll have it hooked up by the end of the day. All right, guys, these are kind of heavy, so you might <laughs> you might see me struggling a little bit, but we'll get it. There we go. Nice and snug. Just going to check the back side. Cool. Another thing I was going to show you is I'm actually doing a connecting plate underneath here um, just to give it some more stability. And I'm gonna drill through here, put put two more on right here to make a just a good solid connection. And the way that these are being held on to, uh, to the bar here is we have these tube straps. And what I'm gonna do, I already marked where the tube strap's gonna go. On these panels, uh, the metal's a little thinner right here. Right here is like really thick. So I'm just gonna put half this on here right, right now. I'm gonna bolt down one side. I'm gonna bolt down the other side here. And then I'm gonna flip it over onto the bar and then I'm gonna drill it, drill it the rest of the way in. What I'm using here are these self-tapping screws. See at the end? It'll just drill right through metal and then screw itself in. So it creates its own hole and then it and then it screws itself down tight. All 
There we go. Back this off a little bit. Give me some room to get in on the other side. All right, guys, putting on the last one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 250 watts a piece, eight times 250, 2,000 watts of solar power. So we'll put this last one on here and then we will chain them all together in series and then uh, see what we're producing on the charge controller inside. Beauty. All right, guys, we are just buttoning up. We've got all eight panels connected. Uh, looking great. We put a post in here for the combiner box to keep it stable. Uh, inside here, you'll find the uh, fuses. Um, I basically connected everything in series. So there's only one set of cables going in there. And uh, there's a fuse box in there. Something was to go haywire here. It tripped that trigger. I added one more support bar here. Um, to give this some stability. Um, there's also support bars in between. Uh, unlike the failure over here. So that is the panel with the combiner box and everything. And uh, been working great. I, I do believe I'm getting a little more power, obviously fully exposed to the sun and the sky. Um, before these had been on the ground for about two or three years. And that's my fault, kind of being lazy. Um, even on the ground, they were putting out so much electricity. So that's where we are right now. I'm gonna finish buttoning up a few more things uh, down below and we're done with the solar panels. All right guys, as the sun heads down, that'll finish up the solar panel installation, mounting setup project. Uh, they're obviously pretty dirty. Everything is connected in series. If you don't know what that means, go look it up, do your homework uh, if you're setting up your own solar panels. Anyway, uh, we're running about 250, 260 volts coming off this in the daytime when it's nice and sunny. Um, right now, I bet we're not really picking up much, especially because I gotta get these cleaned. Um, but even during this time of day, with this low level light, it'll still produce electricity so doing good next on the project is going to be burying these cables i got some uh, conduit and whatnot we're going to get that done that's it for this time uh, i will leave i will leave in the description all the parts i bought for this in case you want to look it up they're all going to be linked to home depot um the tube straps the self-tapping screws, the uh, metal bars. These are one inch galvanized elbows. There's T's in there. Um, and then the same, I'll, I'll link everything there. It's gonna be about $300, $350 for all the supplies, depending on how big your system is that you're setting up. And, um, um, and I'll leave all that in the description below. All right, take care you guys. Talk to you later, bye.